So now that we've talked about transamination reactions, which are a very important part of the urea cycle, let's look about the other important part, which are deamination reactions. And again, we have three types. We have our oxidative amination, which uh, deamination, sorry, which is going to use uh, NAD, NAD plus or FAD plus to oxidize that amino acid that we're talking about and yield our ammonia or deamination our ammonia. That's why we're doing this. Then we have hydrolytic, which, as we can tell, is going to use water, and we're going to talk about that later. And then eliminative, which is going to just take off that amino group. So let's look at um, the first one, which is oxidative. Oxidative deamination, like I said, is going to use NAD or FAD plus, and it's going to do so by using glutamate dehydrogenase, our enzyme. And it just makes sense that glutamate dehydrogenase, because it's going to be used in the re urea cycle, it's going to be in the mitochondria. And for glutamate dehydrogenase, this glutamate dehydrogenase reaction, we're going to start with this amino acid, which we know as glutamate. And the whole point of this reaction, remember, is to deaminate. So we're going to take off this NH3, right? And we're, remember that we're going to replace it with the double bond O. And we obtain 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 alpha ketoglutarate and our NH3 over here. But for this reaction, again, remember, we're going to use that NAD that I mentioned, NAD plus, and we're going to make NADH plus H. And we're also going to use water. So, oxidative, because we oxidized this molecule, we made more bonds to oxygen, as you can see here. And our, reducing, uh, our oxidizing agent, NAD+, became NADH, which became reduced. So let's look at something that we're going to uh, talk about a little bit more in ammonia assimilation. Here we're taking off that ammonia with glutamate dehydrogenase, so the forward reaction is going to be oxidative deamination. We're oxidizing that molecule and taking away that amino group. The reverse reaction, which we're going to see in assimilation, assimilation, we're going to be putting amino groups onto something, onto some sort of molecule. Our reverse reaction then is going to be reductive amination. So we're going to reduce that molecule and put that amino group on it. We're going to talk about that more, a little bit more when we're talking about protein, um, sorry, ammonia assimilation. But it's a very important to distinguish between the two and to know that it, that uh, reductive amination is just a reverse reaction with a little few differences we'll be talking about. So one important thing to note is that we can couple transaminations and deaminations. And as we can see here, this is our transamination reaction, the first one I wrote up here. And it's the conversion of an amino acid to its alpha keto acid and alpha ketoglutarate in this case specifically to glutamate. And then here's our deamination where we have glutamate is deaminated to alpha ketoglutarate by the action of glutamate dehydrogenase and uh, the reduction of NAD to NADH and here's our amino group that we took out. So if we couple these reactions or we add them up, let's look at what we get. So we can see here that our, our alpha ketoglutarate and is going to be canceled out and our glutamate is also going to be canceled out. So what we're going to have is our amino acid plus NAD yields our alpha keto acid plus NH4 plus plus NADH. So we have the, uh, the oxidation of the, our amino acid to, our, to its alpha keto acid by the use of glutamate dehydrogenase or by coupling these reactions. So a limited, limited deamination is simply just taking out that amino group with, without water, without NAD like we did before. And our enzyme here that we're going to be using is histidinase or histidine ammonia lyase. And obviously, because it's histidinase, we're going to start with histidine. And in histidine, we have our amino group over here. So we're just going to take that off. And here it is when we took it off. And what's going to happen is we're going to form a double bond over here and make this molecule called urokinate. 
but it's simply just the elimination of that amino group and forming this new molecule. So again, remember that the hydrolytic deamination is going to be using water to take off an amino group. And in this case, we're going to be talking about glutaminase, which is going to be catalyzed. The enzyme is going to be cat catalyzing that reaction. And here we have our amino acid glutamine. We're going to be taking that amino group here from glutamine with water. And you see here it's not there because we have taken it out. And now glutamine becomes glutamate. So with asparaginase, we're going to do the same thing that we did with glutaminase in that we're going to start with, we're going to start with asparagine instead of glutamine, right? And we're going to add water to take off that amino group. And so we make aspartate, and here's our amino group. 